In 1977, U.S. Mint produced over 376 million Roosevelt dimes in Denver and nearly 8 million in Philadelphia. Since 1965, silver was removed from its original composition. Therefore, metal alloy is 75% copper, 25% nickel over a pure copper center. They were common, so it makes no difficulty at all finding them at circulated grades. Locating 1977 P-Dime at mint condition up to MS64 should not be problem at all. At MS65-66 with full bands on torch it becomes relatively scarce, while at mint day 67 FB it's rare with only one specimen reported by PCGS so far, with none finer. Full bands refers to horizontal trim bands found on the torch that alights reverse of this popular coin. The PCGS designation requires that both upper and lower pair of bands of the torch appear distinct and show full separation. Each line dividing the bands must be full and unbroken. When it comes to Denver variants, PCGS has a population of four lines at mean state 67 full bands, with none being finer. At mentioned grade 1977 D-dimes are worth over $1300 today as for PCGS price guide. These 1977 D-10 cent at mean state 67 full bands from Maltese collection was sold for $1020 in 2020 at Heritage Auctions. Philadelphia variant from the same collection ended up selling for exactly the same amount in 2020. I would also like to show you this very rare and valuable 1977 error done PR69 cameo specimen double struck second strike of center proofs are struck twice but the color dye in this one did not engage for the second strike which was approximately 20% of center toward 330 relative to the first strike sold on August 3rd 2020 for $2100 at heritage auctions